Hi and welcome back to Rolls Law Gaming and our Let's Play series of Civilization 6. We're currently getting beaten a lot by the Barbarians. One of the part that I don't really like about this game, the damn Barbarians getting uh, in the way everywhere. So we have no real units in our empire and we have uh, our playing at marathon speed so uh, creating units takes forever and we don't have any cash since we bought a tile to do a good science uh, science special speciality district and uh, yeah <laughs> we're not in the greatest of spots but uh, we'll do our best to try and clear out the units and this barbarian outpost right here so we'll have to move further along here and try and come down with our units that we do have so we have our archer here moving down towards uh, these guys so we have the trader that have finished uh, the trade route to Jilong so let's see here we can have uh, the purse or new colson with the okay benefits and there will be no benefits to purse or new colson by doing this route so we'll start with purse just choose one and we'll go down to here with our archer and we're still too far away so we'll go to here unfortunate so we can't do an um, attack from a bit far away and uh, we don't have any wall that we have in Geelong so we can't do a bombard attack from the city But we got rid of the barbarians or the warrior there at least, so that's good. And the spearmen's moved in here, so we can do a ranged attack on them, so that's very nice as well. So we'll do that for that turn. And we're lacking amenities em at the moment in Canberra, which is not the greatest. At well, that's at uh, population of 7, so we'll lose one of the population with the settler, so that will fix itself uh, for that reason. But we'll very soon have another settler red here as well, which uh, is uh, not the greatest of the moments, but uh, it's alright I guess. So let's see here what we can do. So we'll actually can't move our archer into the city or Canberra or can we? Oh, I can't. So that wasn't the greatest of moves. Uh, but we still can do a ranged attack towards the spearmen. So we'll do that. And I guess we will maybe win this fight if they attack with the spearmans or at least we won't lose our unit uh, which is a key because that's uh, like almost maybe the only unit we will have to fight the under our uh, outpost or we can create another unit here in Canberra after this settler maybe and uh, I think here actually we will do this city time or recommend that city since uh, it's quite a good distance and now we really just want to boost our civilization's size and that is uh, that way is away from the barbarians so that's quite all right as well so I kind of would like the walls here but uh, we won't do them at the moment we will do a decent uh, 
decent uh, unit here instead. So I think we'll do with a uh, Spearman here. Yeah, I think we'll do a Spearman. And we'll do ranged attack here for for archers. So we'll have our Archer and Spearman go toward uh, the outpost here, and uh, yeah, we are still at war with India, but uh, they are not really doing anything, and neither are we. So I think they have only the one city, so it's all right. And we'll welcome the Vikings here that we just met, or they come by here, I guess somehow with boat. I'm not quite sure where they are at actually, but. We somehow met them, so that won't Vessels matter. So we'll fortify our unit, or we'll move him into the city actually, and fortify him until he's sealed here. So the barbarians didn't pillage any of our improvements, so that's good at least. And we're still slipping behind here. And we finished research for sailing here. So let's take a look now. Probably what we will want to do for research next here in uh, in our tech, tech tree. So we don't want to do. We want to, to boost as many many as possible here. So. This one we can boost pretty soon, maybe, since we will do a Spearman, so we will kill a unit with a Spearman, quite possibly. And uh, I think that one we can do maybe as well, and as, as well as this one. And for, for now I think we will go with... Uh, I think we will go with this one actually since we do have horses and they are horsemen are a pretty good uh, military unit so that is something we are starting to look a bit about since we, since we can do some uh, proper expansion then maybe uh, we will have America which is very strong as well as uh, our Roman friends I guess who have a lot of this area covered down below so we'll have to try to expand down here so we have all of this mountainside covered and uh, then we'll figure out how to work from that once we have got that settled in Let's have a look here at the world rankings again actually and see here how we are doing in science and we are not leading anymore. We have the same um, number of uh, technologies research but we have a lot less in science than a lot of the players here but uh, that is something we are trying to fix here uh, with this campus for example and we'll probably maybe do a uh, campus here in Canberra as well when we have the possibility to do so. Uh, so here we'll do with a ranged attack here on the warriors so they don't pillage uh, this improvement. Unfortunately we have to do it like that. So we'll actually try to fight the scout here, uh, just so we can try to clear out the units here. And we'll have this unit go. Uh, we'll have this unit go towards towards uh, India and 
probably come down here. And unfortunately, the warrior there pillaged that that improvement, so we'll fortify our unit there until healed. We'll found the city here of Adelaide. So we'll not do, we'll actually just here spin a campus straight away. Um, I think we'll do that. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that here, even though it's uh, on st stone pretty decent resource. I think we'll do that anyway since we'll get the boost of two in research. So we're trying to come back if, uh, with the research. I think research is very important in the game of civilization no matter uh, what way you are playing or what way you are trying to win the game at. But after this Spearman is done, we will for sure go with a lot of builders, I guess, uh, to try and improve our cities. And we'll go towards the warrior here, actually. Arrange the attack here with our uh, archers. And unfortunately, I guess they will have time to pillage that improvement as well, which is too bad. But uh, yeah, we're trying to scramble what few military units we have as soon as possible towards the barbarians. Here we had uh, the barbarians attacking our scout instead, so that's good. So we can fortify our scout there, and we can uh, do a ranged attack here on the barbarians or the warriors, so the unit is lost. Uh, so that's pretty good. So with that said, we maybe can go and attack the outpost that they have Got an in here. So we'll fortify until healed first with our units here. So we'll take a short look here at the world rankings again. So we are yeah, sleeping by as said, but uh, one way we can improve is by building a lot of settlers or expanding our civilization. I will try to do that as fast as we possibly can down all the way here, this side of the mountain range. And we'll do a range attack here on these warriors. Well, let's see here. Uh, we'll actually even attack here with scout just so uh, to get them out of the way, so to say, as much as possible. Now we'll have two more turns, then our spearman is ready. We would need to kill a unit with, but uh, there is a unit in the outpost for sure. And also we have this scout here, so. That's alright, uh, we'll fortify that unit and we'll 
until they are healed and we will do the ranged attack with our archers and we have a promotion for that unit next turn as well which is pretty nice it will help us with uh, cleaning out the barbarian outpost So, let's see here, the promotion. So I think we'll actually go with... Uh, I don't know which one actually, but I think we'll go with volley because that's what we I think we'll need at the moment so we'll choose what to do here with uh, Canberra so we'll need a lot of more builders here so we'll do a builder or two and we'll try to look at campus as soon as possible as well and but we'll also need to do more settlers as well so we have uh, quite many things to do here, so we'll move down here towards the outpost with our spearmen. Or actually, there wasn't anything in that uh, that outpost, so now it's just the um, scout left, so we'll go after a scout with the spearman, since we need to kill a unit with the spearman, and we'll greet Netherlands here, we'll sample some hospitality to them, and we'll get three air scores by defeating the barbarians, uh, which we didn't really do, so to say. We actually have the Netherlands right outside our door here. So if we can't find the Barbarian Scout here, we'll move our uh, Spearman up towards India. And we'll get a little warning here from uh, the Vikings that I say that we are all too easy to raid and I guess that might be very true I will kill, try to kill the scout here with our spearman uh, but they are actually pretty decent in defending, so it will take another turn at least, but we'll see if we can make that happen then. And uh, we'll actually fortify until team here with our warriors against the barbarian horsemen. So this is actually barbarians and not India. I thought this would be India attacking us. So, waiting on the end of the turn, I don't know, actually it was us, or I, that I needed to end the turn. So they have archers here in Patna at the moment, so we'll see if we can get in towards that. And actually we have barbarians there as well, but I guess we won't go for... Uh, India, since we are at war with them, and we got a uh, you know, kind unit there with the spearmen, so we boosted one of our, our uh, research subjects. So we got a bit of air score there as well, so that's very good, since we really like to move to a golden age for the next era, since our opponents have done so. So our archers will for sure go up to purse again. And our spearmen here will go into our territory and uh, then fortify until healed. And 
we'll have a worker very soon right here for Perth. So that's pretty good. Uh, Perth have one more time that can be worked by their citizens. And uh, I guess we will do two improvements for Perth. And maybe after that we'll take a look to help some of the other cities. And we'll see here how we can do against India. So we'll fortify until the end here for our spearmen. spearmen. So we'll go to the next turn. I wonder here if the, the island there for Netherlands is that, just that, an island, or if it's uh, actual landmass. I guess we'll see that later throughout the game and we'll have our scout here we can even send up our scout toward India here so let's actually do that so this is clearly not going to win anything uh, or are they? Are it? I'm, I'm not quite sure actually. So let's uh, actually do that and see what happens. Yeah, okay, we'll take down the helms here. I, I was a while since I played this, so um, I wasn't quite sure how this was done, so I didn't really remember that, but that's quite alright. So we'll have. Uh, the warriors do like that and the, then I guess we'll move out of the territorium and uh, heal and do back and forth and send up our spearmen there. If they don't clear out us there. Oh, they didn't, so that's good. And we don't really want to make peace for them at the moment. And uh, they don't have any cities, so is what I usually try to do. Uh, ask them to give away a city uh, if to negotiate peace with a civilization in civilization here. So we will refuse, refuse that. I think this city will be pretty good actually to have. So and here is the archer. So we'll move the archer up towards India here. Actually here I want to take out so we'll move to here. I can't move to here unfortunately. So our unit here will get killed uh, which is very bad for us. Uh, really need more units here actually. So we should have accepted that uh, that peace offer but we didn't uh, that's all right so I think we'll want some walls here as well in purse since we are subject to having military come in here sooner or later and we have a barbarian outpost very close by as well so we'll do ancient walls here. After we build there, we'll let him work in this farm first. And then we'll do one more farm here before moving out with the builder. And we are 50 points over 50 points behind the Americans, uh, but we'll try to do our best, so to say. So we'll move down to there. And unfortunately, we crossed the river there, so we can't do anything. And I think we'll actually, for now, go up to Perth with the spearman and uh, just fortify him there. And we can maybe try to negotiate peace with India before we build 
up a possible army of units before go actually going there. And Canberra actually need more housing to grow, so we'll take a look into that very shortly as well. So we'll do the improvement here, and then then we will move that builder down to repair this farm here. This is the spearman, and let's fortify him in the city. Um, or no, that wasn't the city. So let's move up the pearls, and he will fortify. And we'll go down with our binder to here. And we'll very shortly have uh, the political philosophy as well, which is very important also since we will be able to switch government and have a lot of more uh, of these bonus no cards life is wasted. that will Just help us immensely, I believe. And this is good as well for war against India, for example, with the horseback riding, uh, so we can do horsemen to attack India with. So let's choose the next tech to do for us here. So I think we'll do So this is something also quite good for uh Canberra, so I actually think we'll go with that one before iron working. And we'll have to think a bit about what for unit we do next here in Canberra after we have finished this one or finished that builder. If it's another builder or not, we have quite a lot uh, of improvement we want, we want to do in the other cities, so that's uh, quite important as well. So we reached the political philosophy now, so that's good, and we got an error score of 1, that's nice as well. And we'll definitely move to a classical republic here with two um, economic cards to play and one diplomatic and one of whatever we want and we'll get 15% extra on great personal points and we want to switch to that one um, I really like this one production extra production in all cities so we'll do with that one And we haven't really uh, gotten any envoy, so we'll, we'll do this one to so earn two extra influence points per turn towards earning city states envoys. So we'll do that one. And this is a one nit card one, so I think we'll see here if we have any more of these economic ones we would like to do. And uh, I kind of want to do. Uh, I wonder, but I don't think this one is a good choice for us uh, at the moment, at least. So we will need quite a few builders at the moment, so I think we'll actually go with this one as well. And once we get the chance, we'll maybe switch this one out for something uh, uh, military, so we can use that towards India. So we we'll confirm these policies, and we get uh, two error score for classical republic as well. So that's pretty nice. So we're soon out of 
the Dark Ages for next era. So a good uh, ending here on this episode and something for, uh, exciting to look forward when going into the next episode. So that will be everything for today. So remember to smash that like button if you like what you see here. Comment about just about anything, mostly what I am doing wrong. I, I guess I'm not the expert here at all. I'm just trying to have fun and uh, learn with you guys. So please be active with comments if you have any. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new di episodes coming out here on Raw Slow Gaming. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye. See you next time.